So there's something about listening to other people talk about their experience, their school experience, their life experience, this experience, that experience. It just makes you feel, should I say better? It makes you feel like if you are living the second life because if you see other people go through this part, and now that they go through the same part, you know what to do and what not to do. And so today with me, I have a beautiful person who is going to talk about her seven years in Twitter. Hi, my name is Shibri. What's your name? My name is Gabriella. Gabriella. Yeah. So Gabriella, you are from what department? Physics department. Physics department. So this is because of... I remember one time we did an interview for matriculation students. Okay. And there was this girl that I asked. Do you pick physics or they gave you? Picked physics. Like, I'm even proud of my course. <laughs> and she said she picked physics. I was flabbergasted. <laughs> How do you pick physics? I, I mean, half the people that pick physics don't do physics. Like, so did you pick physics? Or they gave it to you? Uh, I actually picked physics, but it was from a confused state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> confused state of mind. Yeah. So now let's just assume that um, you go back in time. I mean, you're allowed okay. to go back in time. And you're allowed to rewrite the jam again. Would you still pick physics? Mm, not exactly. Why? Because it wasn't even physics I wanted at first. I opted for civil engineering since I already have an OND in building tech. And when I didn't meet up with your so-called cut-off marks, I had to go for physics because I thought I loved physics. Wow. You thought, now you don't want to love physics. <laughs> now you are sure of your feelings for physics. <laughs> no, at least there's a balance right now. There's a love and hate relationship with physics. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> quite understandable. So in your seven years, right, you thought I Yes. So can you just explain? I have that experience has been your achievements, your setbacks, uh, the, your milestones as a Futarian and everything in between. Okay, which do I start with? Okay, I think my beautiful experience in Futa has been connecting with a few like minds. Um, and Futa is like, I tend to describe Futa like Nigeria and it's not something new to me because I grew up in the barracks and in the yeah. barracks there are people from different walks of life or so to say like the 36 states in Nigeria so that's where I see Futa but sometimes you just want to judge yourself and be like maybe you're attracting the wrong people but when I started business in 2018 there are lots of things that I feel if I didn't get into business I wouldn't know just like maybe somebody not happy with you because you're progressing not the way they are progressing hmm. then um, I, I had to hit a milestone um, in 2020 it's pretty laughable because a lot of people's business went down the drain. Some faced a lot of challenges, but at that time, that was like the peak point of my career because I got some really top jobs, like about two to three during that time. And I was able to secure some um, gadgets that I was expecting to get since, and that was it. Okay, so like you said you do business, right? What kind of business do you do? <sighs> I don't know if it's safe to call myself a serial entrepreneur, but... It's safe, it's safe, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> But um, like my food business, I started out in 2018. I used to work out in the gym. And then I'm this kind of person that when I go through my social media platform, because I was initially um, a digital creator. Okay. So from there, I could come up with um, any food blog or food page. And then when I see the meal, I don't even need to read the details from the speculation, like seeing whatever the display is. I'll be able to pick, okay, this is what is in it, this is what is in it. And when I go to the market, I get whatever I want. And I just you come up it. with it. And I'll definitely post on my WhatsApp. Wow. Snapchat is one of my like favorite um, platforms. So people would ask and be like, how did you go about it? Ah, you should go into this. And I was thinking of going into business in the sense that maybe visiting restaurants like they do it back in Lagos, then maybe get um, souvenirs from this boy, even payment. But then my ex was like, why not go into cooking? You're good with cooking. Each time you're cooking, even if you're in a bad mood, when you start cooking, you tend to smile and light up yourself. And that was when I got into cooking in 2018. Then during the lockdown, somehow, after that phase of getting the first three jobs, after 2020, like around 2021, business kind of went down because it can't always be sweet. It can be yeah, a smooth ride all along. Smooth. So then I knew I kind of faced body shaming back then in secondary school, even my poly days. Then I wasn't exactly even big. You know, in Nigeria, it's really crazy where you haven't even get into, gotten to that your big point and somebody will be telling you, like, you look too big for your age. So then to even go to the pool or, uh, or to the beach, someone is telling you, oh, you're not supposed to wear that and all. And I'm this kind of person, I love my body no matter the size I'm in. So I decided, why not? Why not encourage other people like me to wear whatever they are comfortable in? And then I started selling um, 
underwear, swimwear, and the legs. And just recently, I added um, an Ushering brand to it. The name of that one is the Ushers. Why the underwear brand is on the fight, and the food brand is the Diet Meals. Wow, that's a lot. That's a whole lot. So apart from business, do you do any extra curricular services, activities again? Oof. Like maybe like sports or anything? Mm, if, if you say sports, not sports sport, but maybe something to have fun with. I go swimming once in a while. Then sometimes some of these um, outreach programs where people where get to volunteer, volunteer, I do that. Like there's one I'm currently on. When I was on IT in Abuja then, I got to join this association, it's called, um, like an organization, it's called Leap Africa, a friend invited me. And since then I've been on their social media platform. So they kind of created a forum for students from different universities and I happen to even find other Afrotarians there. So like our own message that we want to pass out there, it's about um, the cleaning of the state, more or less like organizing the place instead of saying little zero about, then you have to convert it into money and stuff. So that's why I do it. Now it's obvious that you do a lot. Mm. How do you manage your lot with academics? Ah. A one should tell you actually, physics is not an easy department. You just have to try to balance it. Life is a place of balance, so to say. You have to have the good days, and you have to have the bad, bad days. days. So like myself, I'm a kind of person that likes to plan my days. Like I'm pretty organized. So like we have a very wonderful class trip. Shout out to Jude. He's always good with um, the planning of our academical okay. activities. Yes. So once you already have that plan for the week or, or plan for the semester, I definitely know when to throw in orders. Let's say, okay, maybe the days I know I'll be busy all evening, then I should take orders for morning. Like the days I know I'll be busy throughout, I don't bother to take orders like, at all. So it's pretty not easy. The balance is not yet there, but we're getting there, so to say. That's quite nice. So. As I said before, you spent like seven years in Futa, you've met people, you've grown, you've started your businesses and every rest. What is one memory that if, for instance, I'm asking right now and your memory goes blank? This is one of the I can't just forget. Never, ever, ever. Now you want to make me cry, don't say. Um, it's actually a memory that there's nobody that wants to describe Gabriela in Futa that cannot describe that about me. This was an experience that happened in um, 2019, in June precisely, just a few days from my birthday. I think 11 days away from my birthday. And that was when I had um, like a confrontation with school authority. My ex, so to say, was having um, some health challenge and I had to take him to the hospital. I know because of schools um, services, like their clinical services were really poor. And then they didn't take the health challenge really serious and I lost him. And I had to react because of where I was coming from, my emotions and all, because he died over a mere health challenge, ruptured appendicitis. He was being administered on wrong medication for something could have easily been treated for. So that's something I can never forget. Mm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. What about your thoughts about school is calm? I mean, everybody on the internet always says stuff like school is calm and everybody has their own reasons for why school is calm, why this one is that, why is one that. So for you, what are your personal opinions of school is calm? I've actually been one of those people who say school is calm. I'll be one because, of <laughs> because sometimes I wonder, like when you talk to your friends that are outside the country, reading other courses, hey, well. they don't use calculus to, re uh, to withdraw money from the bank. Am I am, am I correct? Yes, you do. Like myself now, there's a broad part of physics that talks about Schrodinger equation, that talks about quantum physics. I'm not using it to make money in my business. So why do I have to go and read loads of textbooks? To, to know these things, and my kids come in, they will still use Ababio, use Nelson Parker, and the likes. It's not helping, like, we should evolve. So school, to some extent, is scam. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll continue saying it, that school is scam, but it is really important. It's really important. Yeah. Okay, here goes my... Okay, no. To go to the last question. Okay. You are done. And I'm still stuck here, unfortunately. <laughs> so unfortunate. You wouldn't it's be here for long. long. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, I pray and I wish. Okay. So what is your advice for the remaining undergraduates and the ones that are just coming into school? I mean, everybody's coming with their expectations, their bags of everything. What advice do you have for us? You want the trust woman. <laughs> you know what I'll give good advice to you? <laughs> okay. If I was to advise, 
like I do advise my friend because it is not my first tertiary institution I've been to. Don't be boring. There's nobody who will scold you for living your life. Hmm. Like, don't feel I'm here for just school. And then your life falls within a triangle. Church, house, school. It makes it all boring. My parents used to say traveling is part of education. Okay, let's say somebody is coming all the way from Kogi to school in Akure, and all you do is come from home to school to church. What do you have to tell that in the seven years you were in a land filled with people who are future billionaires, future investors, and all, you just came to the class, write down notes, do assignments, go to church to write down sermons, go home, cook the food you want. There's nothing there to back it up. What do you want to share with your kids tomorrow? Because it is people like you somehow that get behind when things are happening you can't really share your experience so for me i'm not saying like the party party thing because when i start saying things like people will be like oh she's trying to say you should party a lot when you see me i think maybe the impression you have about me is that oh she's a clubber i don't club i don't drink i don't smoke but i do some other things to catch fun like i go on a date sometimes by myself but i know some other people have to wait for somebody to take them on a date i love myself enough my parents train me in that way so at least love myself so you could always go out if it's food you love you could go out try some meals if it's swimming you like swimming you could go swimming with a couple of friends sometimes it may even be tough that from your first to the last year in school you wouldn't have have people you call friends but you may have a lot of acquaintances so all i can say is social wise be involved in social gatherings like maybe volunteering you could also be there then if you have lecturers you could draw close to you could be close to them but let there be a limit because some they don't know how to get skip to some things so here's my final question okay you're finally leaving school again second time right oh, you've left school and poly and now university what is one thing you are particularly looking forward to like life after school what is this thing that you are excited that you're looking forward to you know there's this thing eh? i think it's not just futerians you know when like your picture comes on tv and you're like oh do you know that girl ah she used to be in my department that's <laughs> the phase i'm waiting for <laughs> and somebody sees me on tv and the person will be like oh she started out in futa i knew her did i it means wow that's that point i'm waiting for that's that's really nice yeah that's really i know i know she's not coming but thank you very much for the section gabriel thank you very much and I wish you a good and better life after school. I wish you the same. And of course, I want to see you on TV too. I'll be like, I tell you, drag your knife. I tell you, sis. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, guys, I hope you've taken more than enough from Gabriella's episode and I experience. Shout out of advice for you guys. And me, I picked. You people should stop looking for some people to take out on date. Take yourself out. Even though I know you have to, carry yourself out of high school, come back to your house. Town too. Is there? Don't keep the triangle lifestyle. Don't go to school, church, your hostel. It doesn't to help you. Our generation has gone more than school, church, hostel. When you get that, in the outside world, you will survive, honestly. So you said you should increase your social gatherings, meet people with like minds. And that comes to the end of this episode of My Future Experience. I remember your host. My name is Shemine. Adios, Senora. Of course, in this section. Bye bye.